Alright, how's it going everybody? My name is Poppers and welcome back to One Chunk, One Life. The series where I only have one chunk and I only have one life, except the chunk will gradually expand over time. Now, today we're in for a special treat, okay, because it is actually raining outside, um, thundering, very terrible weather outside. However, we're now in 1.18, so we don't need to go outside because our one chunk has become considerably larger. So, we're going to head down into the mines and we're going to go below Y level 0 and see what treasures await for us down in the new deep slate cave areas, alright? Our mob spawner has been disabled apparently, okay? I don't recall patching this. Anyway, anyway, we're going to go down. We're not going to pay attention to what's happening up on the surface, okay? Even though I can still bloody hear it, that's really loud. Chunk board is activated, that's a pretty good thing because I was almost about to mine out of the bloody chunk, but let's... Uh, Let's get going, shall we? I'm really excited to see what's uh, waiting for us down here. I don't even know how close we are to Y level 0. Oh, we're literally on it. Okay, let's go. Oh, God. I imagine if there's a massive cave under here. I doubt there is, but imagine if there is. Oh, my God. Also, yet again, uh, I apologize if I sound a little bit nasally. I'm still recovering from the cold that I had. So, I, I wanted to record one chunk because 1.18 came out and I do sound a little bit better than I did. Ooh, maybe there's some water down here, actually. Is that the end of the chunk or can I keep going? I'm pretty sure I can keep going, right? Yeah, I can keep going, okay. Maybe some more diamonds down here? That'd be quite cool, I guess. Ah, okay, there's the edge of the chunk. We can't go past this one. Okay, right. Well, we'll keep going down. And hopefully, oh, it'd be really nice to find some water down here. Because I could actually, you know, go to the nether in this episode. That would be quite good. But if not, it's not the end of the world. We just have a lot more space in our chunks now. Shut up up there. I'm not asking you any questions. Uh, do we actually have any food remaining from last time? No, I have the puffer fish. I probably need to go fishing again, but it's raining and dark, and I, I don't want to go outside right now. Oh, we've encountered the border of the chunk yet again. We'll put another torch down here, and we'll keep going down. We're already on negative 30. Why negative 30? I don't think we're going to find anything really interesting down here in these last 34 chunks. Uh, 34 uh, layers, blocks. There we go, blocks. I don't know what I'm saying today. Leave me alone. So far, we found, like, a lot of iron and stuff down here. And there is a cave. There is a cave indeed. Okay, this is the end of our chunk, so we can't go past here. Just block that up real quick so we don't walk past that. Um, hello? Oh, this is quite weird to have. Oh, okay. So we've got a little cave area. Nothing too, you know, special, too fancy. Is there anything that I'm missing out on out there? No? Not that I can... Not that I can see. No. Okay. All right. Well, that's, that's still pretty cool nonetheless, you know? Oh, what's that? Okay, so I found one of these on stream in my uh, my other hardcore world. But um, it's, it's literally just a block of raw iron. Look at that. It's, it's crazy. So you literally can get nine raw iron. I found one on stream and I didn't know whether they could, like, why it naturally spawn. But yeah, they're a natural thing. It's weird. Apparently, they're quite rare, though. I don't know if they are because I've literally found two and 1.18's only been out, like, two days. We probably don't have much further left to go down at this point, I'm pretty sure. Like, we're basically at bedrock at this point. Come on, now. Ah, uh, ah, yeah. There's, uh, there's bedrock. All right, so... Jesus, these chunks are huge now. One chunk is pretty freaking big now. Like, oh my god, it's going to take me ages to go back up. I'm going to pick up all this iron, all right? I'm going to bring it all up with me. Uh, and then we'll, we'll smell it down. And probably, I kind of want to start clearing out some area higher up in the chunk so we can move all the stuff on the surface down here so we can kind of grow a load of trees on the surface that way we can have more wood as well so it just it works out better if i move everything down here okay and we're back up to our normal y level minimum point let's say uh we've got from down there we've got 19 iron in total jesus and uh, what the christ was that okay Bigger chunk, bigger problems, I guess. Jesus. Not a nice thing to hear. Um, we got 10 gold as well, is what I was going to say, before that freaking, I don't know, train came through the station or whatever the hell that was. Oh, do we still have the Wondering Trader? Or do we have another one? I heard a huh huh. Hello, buddy. Wondering Trader, I hear you. I hear, are you behind there or something? Oh my god, we got a big tree. Hey. I am really wanting to move this house and move everything underground um, so that we can clear up some more space up top. So let me put this iron in the furnace. We'll put a couple more coal in there too. Uh, I need to actually 
break down that iron. We've got, jeez, we've got a lot of iron now. How much we got in there? Oof, damn, we're rich now. Okay, so while that's smelting down, I'm going to work on basically getting rid of everything up here and moving it down one layer uh, under the dirt or something. I, I don't know how we're going to do this, but I'll, I'll figure it out. So I'll be back with you once I've mined out basically this entire thing underneath my chunk. Hopefully this goes well. Hopefully it does. Okay, right, little progress update. Uh, we've cleared out uh, two blocks of the entire chunk, uh, and the diamond pick isn't looking too great. However, we are basically done mining stone. I'm just going to get this little bit here, um, and then the rest is going to be dirt that we have to mine. So we should be pretty good, and hopefully my pick won't break during the rest of it. But I'll finish this off, I'll move everything down here, and then I'll show you how things are. All right, so we've now mined it all out. I put some fences down there, um, and then you may notice that there's this little kind of grass block protruding through the floor, and that's because that speed-running bastard is up there. So I need to bring him down with a lead, otherwise he'll run away. Um, it is night time, there is zombies about, and I do not have any food to regen my health, so we've got to be careful going out here. It is also raining, which is not great, because then these boyos will not despawn in the daytime. I'm going to keep out an eye out for creepers because I don't want to die. Um, but yeah, we're going to get the llamas first and then we shall bring the chicken down. Whoa, hello? I just want the leads, man. Oi, no, back to me now. Where did the other one go? Why is he running? Why is he running like that? Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? You know where you're going. You're coming, you're coming with a chicken. You're coming with a chicken, buddy. Come here. Hey, you're both coming down here. Come into my pit. Hey. Llama now. Llama now. I see your lead moving through the floor. Come. Oh my god. Uh, you know what? I don't even care about the llama, to be fair. I just need the chicken to be safe. Uh, what if I tie you to the fence here? You can't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll go up there and I'll push him. Yeah. You will come down into this hole. You little swine. Get in there. Oi. In there. In there. Oi. Get in that bloody hole now. Get in there. Ah. <sighs> You'll go down one way or another, I tell you now. Jesus. I didn't know that that guy would start giving me grief, but apparently he is. Awful, awful creatures. Where did the other one go? I, I, I'm not going to step out of the chunk just to see where a llama went, but I'm really curious because I hear a wandering trader over there, so did it run to it? Probably. I don't know. Anyway, you are going in here. All right, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Right, and you, my good fellow, are going in here. There we go. This is meant for you. Although I should make you with iron bars, because you're an annoying little... There we go. Right. Give me the lead back. Give me the lead back. Beautiful. You get over here. Over here, because I don't trust you. You try bloody running off every time. There we go. Hey, the chicken and the llama. I don't know where the other one went, but it's all good. Okay, I'm going to go do some fishing. I'm going to get some food, and then we shall remove basically everything up here except the trees. Well, including the trees, but I'll regrow the trees. Okay, right. Well, I'll see you after I've got some fish. All right, so we've got some fish cooking. I uh, harvested my wheat outside, so I could probably make like a. Uh, I can make three bread. Oh my god, what a luxury! I'm going to be eating well tonight. Um, I also kept catching puffer fish, so I just started throwing them away because I'm not going to eat them because they'll poison me and I'll be eating less health. So will this bread actually heal me all the way? It will. Oh my god, yes. Now I get to see my fish for later. Gee, we've got 43 iron. I, I think we're gonna we let me. Let me treat myself, you know? Let me treat myself to a, a nice bucket. All right, uh, wait, did we already make a bucket? No, we didn't. All right, so I'm going to treat myself to a bucket. Uh, I'm going to treat myself to a chest piece. And I'm going to treat myself to some leggings as well. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't want to spend the rest of it, but that's... Look at that. Wow. Actually, you know what? We'll make a helmet as well. Why not? Why not? I don't need six, but, uh, you know, I'm going to use it. There we go. Look at that. Wow, now the rain will stop landing on my head. Beautiful. Now I am going to put the bucket in here. Uh, and now we need to deal with everything up top here. Also, this cauldron doesn't appear to be filling and it's been raining for about nine years. So that's a lie. Okay, anyway, I'll be back with you once we've completely wiped out everything on the surface except 
for like crops, I guess. Wait, oh my god, look what we have. We have an apple. An apple actually just dropped from the tree. I've just noticed it now in my hotbar. What? How? Uh, what, this like the fourth episode? Four episodes to get one freaking apple. Jesus. Can I get you without stepping out the chunk? Yes, I can. All right. Oh, another one. Two apples. Two. Oh my god, living the life of luxury now. Let's go. Mmm. God, I've never tasted that thing before. Three! Oh my god. What? Any more? You're really just... Come on, keep... keep it's just pure apple. You're just giving me pure apple. This is great. I'll take it. I'll take it all. Ah, 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 ah. This is where the wandering treader is. My guy. This is where you stole my bloody llama to. What are you doing back here, eh? What are you doing back here? Okay, so I burnt him. Um, and they're not happy about it. But they're burning. There he goes. Uh, you're gonna die? You're gonna die, hey? No? Well, you're gonna bloody stay down there, I tell you. You're not coming up. I don't want that cave open because things can come out of it at night. Speaking about night, it is bloody night. Alright, so now I officially present to you the current new housing situation. It, real good, but uh, I will eventually change it. I have an idea. I saw a house on Pinterest about a year ago that was in like the corner of a chunk and it looked real good. I'll try and put a picture on screen. If you can see that, look how cool it looks. I'm going to try and build that. But um, yeah, for now, this is kind of what we're dealing with. Uh, everything's moved out here now. The surface is... Once again, quite deadly. I do need to probably go over this with, with dirt and pull the, the roof of this down one layer. But other than that, we've got trees planted all over. We've got our wheat farm nice and expanded over here. It's going pretty well, actually. We made our first bread and, and ate it. it. It's going quite well. It's going quite well. Uh, I replaced this with a trap door so nothing can get down. We've got a little bit of grass going down here. Things are going pretty well. Okay, so before we end this episode off, I think we should probably start work on maybe just, you know, getting some stuff for this kind of house room build type thing done. Because I've got an image up next to me now of it. Uh, it's the one you saw on screen. And we can kind of make some some progress on it, I guess. So we'll just we'll start, you know, doing a basic outline for it and then see see where it goes. Okay, so I've kind of just noticed that in the actual picture itself, they use different colored wood. So the, the floor, for example, is spruce wood, I'm pretty sure. Now, I don't actually have access to spruce wood because, well, there is some near me. But uh, I'm pretty sure it's over the river. Let me just go check, see if there's any different colored wood in a chunk near me. There isn't, and I need to be expanding this way when I choose to expand. So we won't be able to get that anytime soon. So I think I'm going to have to use like stripped oak wood, like stripped oak logs, maybe. We'll see how it looks, but if I run around like that and uh, see how it goes, then maybe we'll come to an agreement on how it should look. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll try and figure it out. Okay, so I literally got three lines of the floor done and I'm out of wood. So that's... <sighs> it's going to take a little bit. All right, it's going to take a little bit. We need to wait for some of this to grow, but I think we will continue on with that build down there in the next episode but as always thank you all so much for watching i do greatly appreciate it and if you found yourself enjoying the video at any point then please consider dropping a like and subscribing it would go really really far and it really does mean the world to me but anyways that's it for me today stay safe till next time and i'll see you in the next video adios